The Reverie, which literally means World Council, is a meeting among all the leader of the nations that belong to the world government. It usually takes place every four years and, during this special meeting, every participant is free to discuss every matter they want, as long as it regards the whole world or, anyway, a big problem for a lot of people. Well, before the beginning of the Big Mom arc, we saw that some leaders were going to start their trip to reach Marajoa, the holy land in which the Garosii and the world nobles live and in which the reverie takes place. For this reason we can suppose that, after the Big Mom arc, as a kind of filler between it and the Wayno arc, we will see something about this year's reverie. Anyway, I have already an opinion about one of the subjects which will be proposed during that meeting, the complete abolishment of the Shishibukai. Why? Let me introduce you my theory. To begin with, during the story of One Piece, the Mujiwaras has already defeated three Shishibukai members, Crocodile, Moria, and Doflamingo, in addition, Boa Hancock is a Mujiwara's ally and Jinbi left both the Shishibukai and the Big Mom pirates in order to join Luffy's crew, while maybe Kuma is still cooperating with the Revolutionary Army and Dr. Vegapunk. To sum up, nowadays the Shishibukai can be considered just as a shadow of what they were once. In fact, they have been originally created in order to bring balance to the world, as it was divided between the forces of the Marine and the Yonko, and, thanks to the Shishibukai, both found a way to keep peace, since the Shishibukai were seven incredibly powerful pirates who, in exchange for some special rights, used to work for the world government. In addition, once the Garosii stated that the loss of even just one Shishibukai member could change the world, so can you imagine how could the world government survive to the Yonko if the Shishibukai were definitely abolished? They wouldn't be able to keep the previous balance, since the Yonko would possibly ally in order to fight the Marine and the world government. Is also possible that, thanks to Kuma, the Yonko become allies of the Revolutionary Army and Dr. Vegapunk, becoming in this way able to fight using incredibly advanced technologies and Uranus, which is the ancient weapon supposedly owned by Monkey D. Dragon. In conclusion, without the existence of the Shishibukai, the Wollard government would lose the fight and be destroyed, letting the world be controlled by the pirates.